Over the past decades, numerous heroes were watched by unknown beings, having their actions recorded and acknowledged. Their special abilities and fighting styles were analyzed and researched. In 2001- Stop! No, we're not, we're not, we're not doing, we're not doing this again. It was a stupid thing then, it's even cringier three years later. Just, just start the video, just move on from that piece of sh- In this unlocking video, I will be going through characters and stages and how I feel is the best way to unlock them. However, all possible ways to unlock a character or stage will be mentioned. Also note that in Melee, the AI of unlockable characters lowers as you progress, so if you want, you can leave certain characters towards the end after harder challenges. Although keep in mind this is Melee AI, so... yeah. Jake the Puff is the simplest character to unlock. All you have to do is complete either Classic or Adventure Mode on any difficulty of your choosing. Alternatively, you can play 50 versus matches of any kind. I recommend that you simply go through Classic Mode as it will be needed later. Once the challenge of your choosing is finished, Jigglypuff will challenge you on Pokemon Stadium. Defeat her to unlock her. The next character you'll want to unlock is Dr. Mario. Simply go through Classic or Adventure Mode as Mario and complete it without using a Continue on any difficulty. Alternatively, you can play 100 versus matches of any kind to unlock him. Once again, I recommend Classic Mode for a later unlock. Dr. Mario will challenge you on Princess Peach's castle, so quickly defeat him to unlock him. You'll want to head to Adventure Mode on any difficulty to unlock Luigi. In Stage 1 of this mode, cross the finish line when there is a time ending in 2 in the seconds. Milliseconds can be anything. Doing this summons Luigi to replace Mario in the next battle. Defeat Luigi and Peach in under a minute, and then complete the rest of Adventure Mode without any continues. You can also do 800 versus matches to unlock him if you're that bored. Luigi will fight you in Mushroom Kingdom 2. You have no idea how hopeful I was just there. Defeat Luigi to add him to your roster. This next unlock should be done later on if you're having trouble with the game. Falco can be unlocked by completing 100 man melee. This can be painful if you have terrible luck like me where random bombs appear out of nowhere. You can also just do 300 versus matches instead to unlock him. Falco, when finally summoned, will fight you on battlefield. Ground him and unlock him. Young Link is the reason you should have unlocked Jigglypuff and Dr. Mario with Classic Mode. Complete Classic Mode with 10 different characters. Two must be Link and Zelda or Sheik. If you don't want to do this, you can play out 500 versus matches because you hate yourself. Young Link will be fought at Great Bay, so simply throw him into the stage to win. Marth can be unlocked in three ways, one of which you have now done most of. You must complete Classic Mode with all 14 starter characters, you can use them all at least once in Versus Mode, or play 400 Versus matches. It should be obvious which one you should choose between those options. I personally recommend just playing each character in one Versus match, as a one-stop match with a light character can take no more than 30 seconds. Just be sure the last character you play as is the one you want to fight Marth as. Unlike me who forgot Kirby existed till the very end. Marth will fight on Found the Dreams because Akania never came to be. Take him out to unlock him. Roy can be unlocked right after Marth. You can either complete Classic Mode or Adventure Mode as Marth on any difficulty, but you cannot use a Continue. Alternatively, you know you can play 900 vs matches, I mean, why not? War will be fought on Temple. Defeat him and unlock the inferior clone that you all claim you actually like, I know you're all lying to yourself! Gandorf requires finally tackling event match mode. Sets of events are unlocked as you play. Completing 6 out of the first 10 events unlocks events 11 through 15. Completing 10 events out of the first 15 unlocks 16 through 20. 16 out of the first 20 unlocks 21 through 25. 22 out of the first 25 unlock events 26 through 29. Event 29, Triforce Gathering, is Gandorf's event. Defeat Gandorf in the event without allowing Zelda to be KO'd. After this, Gandorf will once again challenge you on Final Destination. You will be forced to play as Link this way. You can also just play 600 versus matches to fight him instead as the character of your choice. Defeat him to unlock Captain Triforce. As for the other events, completing 27 out of the 29 events unlocks event 30. By completing 27 out of the 30 events, and also having Jigglypuff, Luigi, Dr. Mario, Young Link, and Falco unlocked, brings about events 31 through 39. Events 40 through 50 will be unlocked after unlocking all their characters and having 27 missions finished. Event 51 will be unlocked once you complete all events 1 through 50. 
Pichu also requires an event to be unlocked. First, unlock Event 37, Legendary Pokemon. In this event, you must defeat several Wireframes and Jigglypuff, who is their only means of direct combat. Both you and Jigglypuff must race to pick up Pokeballs before the other, each summoning either a Legendary Pokemon or... Wobbuffet. Okay. Defeating Jigglypuff first makes this much easier. Once the event is completed, Pichu will challenge you to a battle on Pokemon Stadium. Alternatively, you can just play 200 matches, which is one of the more viable methods as 200 matches is required for a stage later on. Defeating Pichu unlocks them. Welcome to the world of joke characters. Mewtwo is pretty easy to unlock so long as you have 4 controllers. Mewtwo requires that Versus Mode be played for a combined total of 20 hours. Note the word combined, as this means combining the playtimes of player 1, 2, 3, and 4. This means each player would only have to play 5 hours. Plug in all your controllers and select their characters. Make the game a stock match with infinite time. Start up a match, then turn off your TV and go do something, I don't know, sleep? That's always good. Once the required time has passed, as shown now on screen, you will be challenged by Mewtwo on Final Destination. With Poke Floats in the background, because why not? You could also play 700 versus matches, but that's not exactly quicker so long as you're about to go to bed soon. Defeat Mewtwo and unlock him. No matter what, Game & Watch will be the last character you unlock. He also has several methods to be unlocked. You can do one of four things. You can either complete Classic Mode, Adventure Mode, or Target Test with the other 24 characters, where is Zelda and Shigar 1, or complete 1000 versus matches. I highly recommend you do Target Test, as you will unlock Dream Land by doing Target Test with all 25 characters anyways. Game Watch will battle you upon completion on Flat Zone. Defeat him and unlock the best character in the series, who was never actually finished for this game. Just wait till Brawl, my 2D friend. Stages all have their own single ways of being unlocked, some easier than others. Four stages require a certain amount of versus matches to be played. Brinstar Depths is the first of these at a mere 50 matches. The easiest way to do this is to set the game to one stock, play as Falcon against a level 1 Pichu. Matches will last no more than 10 seconds. The 50th match automatically unlocks the stage. Foresight requires 100 versus matches to be played. Once again, just play as Falcon, use Nia Law on light characters to get matches done in mere seconds. Foresight, the stage that works against its own character, will be unlocked. Big Blue will require 150 versus matches to be played. Keep up with Falcon and light characters, or at this point be bored and just start using random characters, and soon the stage will be yours. Poke Floats is the last versus match stage to be unlocked, requiring a total of 200 versus matches. You know the drill by now, Falcon vs. Light character, yada yada yada, the best worst stage in the series is yours. Dreamland is an easy stage to unlock due to you possibly already doing most of the criteria while unlocking Game & Watch. Dreamland is unlocked by completing target tests with all 25 characters in the game. If you did target tests for Game & Watch, just quickly do his target test and the only tournament legal stage in 64 is yours. Battlefield is another stage that has to be unlocked after getting all characters. When all characters are unlocked, All-Star Mode is made available. By completing this with any character on any difficulty, Battlefield becomes a playable stage in Versus Mode. Yoshi's Island is another easy stage to unlock. You must hit 1,312.4 feet in the home run contest with any character. The two easiest characters to do this are Ganondorf and, funnily enough, Yoshi. Ganon has heavy hitting attacks, whereas Yoshi has his flutter kicks. Send Sandbag flying and the stage will be yours. Flat Zone is an easy stage to unlock. You must simply complete Classic Mode on any difficulty with Mr. Gaming Watch. Once this is done, Flat Zone will be unlocked for you to enjoy. Okay, so Mushroom Kingdom 2 is a stage that can be hard or easy to unlock, depending on your own luck. To unlock it, you must have to collect either the Birdo or the Pidget Trophy. Both of these are random collectibles. Birdo is available at the start of the game, whereas Pidget becomes available after completing Classic and Adventure once each. The trophies can be found in one player modes or in the lottery. It is completely up to luck to get them. Funnily enough, a trophy is randomly given to the player when a save file is started. This can be the Birdo trophy, so you can be very lucky and unlock the stage immediately. Otherwise, get to grinding those hard to get coins. Enjoy! 
Congo Jungle is one of the two hardest stages to unlock. You must survive an entire round of 15 minute melee. This can be made simple by using Donkey Kong of all characters. Go to the middle of the battlefield and spam the absolute hell out of hand slap. This will one hit KO every enemy, but you can be hit out of the move. On top of that, bombs spawn constantly in Multiman, and you will quite possibly hit a bomb that just happens to spawn right next to you. If you manage to get through the button mashing without getting Carpal Tunnel, Congo Jungle will finally be yours. Final Destination is the other hardest stage to unlock. You are required to unlock Event 51, the final showdown, which is done by clearing the other 50 events. This event pits you against Giga Bowser, Mewtwo, and Gandorf, who consistently BS their way to victory. I recommend Falcon for this as the knee's knockback keeps enemies away. Kill Giga Bowser first and then focus on Mewtwo and Gandorf. Mewtwo's AI can be tricked by Giga Bowser into suicide if it's pushed off an edge while charging Shadow Ball. Ganon will be a major headache as he spams Dark Dive, grabbing you when you're trying to attack. When the event is cleared, Final Destination will finally be playable. If you followed this guide, congrats, you have all the characters and stages unlocked. To see more of the game, check out my Let's Play of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Well, check it out if you aren't already a Melee fan or else, uh... You're gonna get more pissed off at me than I do at this game.